Hi everyone, today we're gonna to make some heart art in honor of Valentine's Day. We have six different artists that I'm going to show you. Your job is to pick at least three artists to create a little work of heart art. And we will be taking these home and giving them to friends and family for Valentine's Day. So let's start with our first artist, Carrie Rosenthal. These are the directions at your table to create art that is inspired by her. You will start with a small white piece of paper and you're going to use only your paintbrush for this one. Using your paintbrush, you're going to use liquid watercolor paint. Start with any color. Use your brush to make some hearts. Making hearts is pretty easy with your brush. You just need to go down on one side and down on the other. You don't even have to draw them first. Switch colors by washing off your brush and pick a new color. Add more hearts. If you notice, this artist has a ton of hearts in her art. Switch another color. Imagine I filled my whole picture with hearts. I'm going to stop and take my picture and I'm going to make the hearts bleed a little bit. That means the paint is going to run down my paper a little bit. So I'm gonna take the sponge at my table and just set it down so I don't get my table all dirty. And I'm gonna take my hearts and I'm just gonna press the watercolor down. Tap, tap, tap on the sponge so that watercolor doesn't get on my table. And look at how they bleed. They kind of bleed the colors into each other. That's awesome. I can add more hearts if I want with more colors. And then I can tip my paper and make the colors bleed together again. I can add as many as I want. Pretty cool. Put your name on the bottom and then put this to the side. Our next artist that we're going to learn about that you can choose from today is Chris Uphughes. We learned about him another day. He's the artist that likes to create these funny heart characters with funny faces. So you're going to use a white piece of paper for this one as well. I'll have my directions next to my paper so I can see. Use a pencil or Sharpie marker. Start to draw some hearts. After you draw a few hearts, add a few more details to the background. They could be more hearts or they could be other cartoon characters. Or sometimes he has these clouds and rainbows. I really like that a lot. So he's filling up the space and the rest of the background. He's got this banana. You can see at the bottom of your paper, there's a whole bunch of other little doodly shapes that you can use to fill up the space of your paper. Like a sun, maybe a lightning bolt. All right, when I filled my space, I'm gonna add some funny faces. Look at the bottom of your paper. There's a whole bunch of funny faces that you can add to your shapes to make them look like characters from cartoons. After you've finished adding faces to each of your shapes, you can color it with any coloring supplies. At your table, you have crayons, markers, colored pencils, watercolor paint, even chalk. So I can choose any of these supplies to color it with. Maybe I'll choose crayons to shade in the colors. Maybe I'll choose paint to paint the background. It's up to you. Color your whole picture. Our next artist that we're gonna learn about is Kate Tova. She also likes to make what we call bleeding hearts. Using your white paper, you're gonna start by drawing a heart. After you draw that heart, I want you to color or paint the background. She painted her background here yellow. It's up to you what color you would like to use. I think painting the background is much easier because you can color in very quickly. After I finished coloring the background, I am going to put some colors into the heart. And if you look closely, she has many colors that are blending together. So I can do what we call stippling, making little dots of color. Wash my brush and I can add another color. You'll see that the colors are starting to blend a little bit. After I finished adding lots of colors, I'm gonna take my sponge again and I'm going to make this heart lead. 
That means the colors are running. Tap, tap, tap on my sponge. Look at how cool that looks. Our next artist that you can choose from today is Jim Dine. For this, you will also need a small white piece of paper. You're going to start by making two lines to divide up your paper into four boxes. After that, draw four hearts. Then when you're ready to color, it says color two hearts with warm colors and two hearts with cool colors. And then in the background, color warm and cool colors. So if your heart is warm colors, the background will be cool colors. If your heart is cool colors, color the background with warm colors. In the end, he also adds a little bit of lines around the hearts to show that they're moving. You could try to do that with your marker like this. It, al it almost looks th like the hearts are beating really fast. On the bottom here, you can see some different color combinations that you can use. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, or paint for this one. Our fifth artist is Jay Goldcrown. We learned about him before. He's the artist that makes those heart murals and he uses spray paint. We're going to use chalk pastels. So for this one, you're gonna grab a black piece of paper. Using your chalk pastels, make some hearts that are overlapping. That means they're sharing some space with one another. They're going on top of one another. Make lots of hearts overlapping. Notice how I'm not really blending them yet. I'm gonna wait until the very end. I'm gonna add even more. Awesome, now if I want, I can blend them a little bit with my finger, one color at a time, so that they start to look more like spray paint and they look like they're blending together. If you would like to get a wet wipe to wipe your finger in between colors, that will help your colors not mix too much. Our final artist is Romero Brito. He is the artist that loves pattern and color. So we're going to use a white or you could use a black piece of paper. We're going to start by drawing a heart. We're going to break that heart up into spaces by using lines. Then break up the background into some spaces using lines. As many lines as you want. Then look, he's adding a ton of patterns. A pattern is a line or a shape. So you can add different types of patterns with your black marker. After you've covered each space with patterns, give it some color. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, or watercolor paint. Can't wait to see your heart art.